Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here, and welcome back to another episode here on our Mind Colony series, where today, of course, we're talking about storage, uh, and specifically the Storage Drawers mod. Now, before I jump into that, I do want to say today is the first day I'm officially releasing a schedule uh, for both my YouTube videos and also my Twitch live streams. So if you guys are interested in knowing about that, then check out the description or the About Me section on my channel. Just to say, if you are watching this video within the first couple hours of it being released, then I'm probably live streaming right now. So do jump in and say hello. We'd love to see you there. Uh, but for this video, um, my voice just went really weird. Um, let's just have a look at what we're doing today. So storage drawers. Um, a fantastic mod. If I if I go here at storage drawers in JEI, you can see these are all the things that are part of the mod, which is reasonably simple. Um, you know, it, it's it's not too much to worry about, but we're going to have a look at everything you can do with this today. Now, if you're interested in getting the mod yourself, I'll put a link to the mod page in the description. Also, if you want the exact mod pack that I'm using for my Mind Colonies world, there'll be a link to that as well. It's on my website, so uh, you guys can get it there and download that. Of course, it's free, uh, as is storage drawers. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check that out, that's how you do it. Uh, so first up, what we actually need to do is make a nether portal. So I'm going to come over here a little bit away from everything. Just because the uh, the noise of it gets a bit annoying. Um, so here should be far enough. And the reason we need to go to the nether is because we need quartz. So yeah, we're going to need to sort that out. Um, we need quartz for some redstone components. And you guys will see why that is in a second. I always make these things wrong. <laughs> you would think by now that I would know how to make these properly. I just always mess them up. It's, yeah. I should, I should, I should have made this and then jumping into the video afterwards. That'd have been a lot better. Okay, here we go. So, the nether portal. Now, let's see. This is my first time going to the nether on this world, I believe. I thought I had gone, but then I realized I had no portal, so I guess I hadn't. So, let's see what sort of spawn we get here. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay, definitely my first... Whoa, what the... Oh, it's these flower things. Okay. Yeah, these little flower things, they're part of biomes of plenty. They set you on fire. Um... I forgot about those. <laughs> also, these things hurt when you walk into them. Kind of obvious, but yep. Uh, okay, so what we're here for is quartz. There's some quartz right here. I have my uh, my fortune pickaxe on me, so that's pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and get myself a load of quartz together and then uh, make up a few other components off cam before we come back and talk about the storage drawers mod specifically. Okay, so the storage drawers mod. Uh, let's have a look in JEI here and see all the components of this particular mod. Uh, so... Basically, it's a storage mod. <laughs> no, no prizes for guessing that. And you have all these different types of drawers that you can make up. You can use any of the vanilla types of wood to make all the different uh, colors as well. And uh, you can see you've got some like half drawers here. You've got full drawers. And I've got loads of wood on me. So if you want to get into this mod, that's kind of the first thing you're going to need to do. Uh, and then we're going to have a look at making up some of these things together. Uh, so let's go to the crafting bench here. And the first thing, the most simple one, is just your, your typical drawer, which is a chest in the middle surrounded by six planks just like this. And there you have your one by one drawer. So there it is. Now, this is the same as all the drawers that I have right here. Um, so basically, when you put an item in, only that one particular item can be stored in there. So for example, if we grab a load of these redwood logs, if we right click, there they go. And then if we left click once, we can draw out these one at a time. Or if we shift left click, we can draw an entire stack out at a time. And you can see there, uh, if you take all the items out, it goes back to being an empty drawer that you can then use for other things. Now you can change that, and I'll show you guys that in a second. But this is essentially the, the first bit. Okay, this is the drawer. So that's how you make that up. Now if we have a look at a few of the other types of drawers that we can make. So that was the oak one by one. You can make an oak one by two. And what I'll do is I'll just get a load of these down in my inventory and we'll kind of go through them one by one. Uh, an oak two by two. You see you get different amounts of these ones as well as you make them. Um, and then you can get the half drawers in the same one by one, one by two, and two by two. So I'll just make up like one of these or a couple of these. Oh, we need slabs for that. Uh -huh. So I had the materials, but I haven't made the slabs up yet. So I'll make one of these up as well and we'll have a look at all of these uh, together. So this was the one by one that we had a look at. Uh, you can have two by two. You have a one by two, and then you have the half draw as well. So the half draw is just half the amount. Now, if we hover over this right here, you'll see there, for example, the oak half draw one by two holds eight stacks per draw. Um, if we go to an oak one by two here, it holds 16, so it's exactly half. So although it takes up half the space, it is also half the amount of storage you can have in there. Very good. Okay, so um, looking at these drawers, if we grab out, let's grab out some mine materials. It's probably a good thing to do this with. Uh, a bit of gold, why not? Um, so you can see we can put in this one right here four different items. We can have four different components there and uh, store four things in this chest. But of course, they will all take up the storage space. So uh, you've got less of each item you could have than if you had it in, for example, this one here. Or if you had it in, for example, this one here, which holds just the two. Now this one here, of course, holds just the two as well. Again, just right-clicking to put those in. 
and that's basically it that's how you fill the drawers that's how you take items out of the drawers which is the most sort of basic thing you're going to be doing now to answer a question that many of you may have can you move storage drawers well yes you can if i just break this right here i've broken this uh it's still holding its items we've run over here and place it down the items are still in there so yes you can move them there's no problems with that now I believe back in the day it used to be that, um, wait, actually I should take these items out. It had to be uh, using packing tape to move storage drawers. So if you're playing on an older version of the mod or an old mod pack that has this in, you may just want to check in your JEI and see if there's packing tape required. But for this current version right here, no, you don't need it. You can just go ahead and do it as I did right there. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is a very useful block called the draw controller. You see it here, right here. So this is the blocks that you'll need to make that up. So you need some sort of storage drawer, some stone, some comparators, and some diamonds as well. Uh, so we've got my comparators and stuff. What I don't have is the diamond. We need one of those. Uh, so we're going to make that up, and then I'll show you guys how to use this. This is a really useful block. So the draw controller, what I'm going to do is I'm actually setting up some storage drawers over here. So uh, we'll put them, let's see, I'll put them on this side right here. And I'll place that down about there, should be fine. Now this can see drawers and, and you know, interact with drawers in 12 block radius on any given direction. So to the right, to the left, up and up, down as well. So we can place down a load of blocks here like this. Um, so there's five there. I'll try and keep this two, three, four, five, like, you know, the same on each side for now. Uh, and then this will interact with all of these drawers. Now, the way that it does that is like this. If we go ahead and put a redstone in here, for example, if we have redstone on us, we can just right click this and it will go into there. So now I can draw a stack out of there because it has held the whole thing. So quite useful to, you know, quickly put your inventory in. The other thing you can do is um, let's go ahead and put like a few different items from our inventory into these different drawers. So we've got, you know, stake, redstone, redstone torch and a comparator. So now, if all of these things are here in my inventory, now they don't have to be here, they could be up here. I'm just going to show you them on my hotbar so you can see it. If I double right click this right here, there we go. They've all gone into there. And now we can draw them back out of there as well. So, uh, you know, if you go away and do a big mining session or something like that, you've got loads of items on you, you can quickly come back, double right click, and everything gets put back in its place. Now, this will work for any of the drawers. So I've got some of these uh, two by two drawers here as well. You know, it still works. It will still connect up with the storage drawer, again, so long as it is within a 12 block radius. So pretty useful thing to have the draw controller in place um, and, and it doesn't need to be powered or anything like that, which is quite nice. Now, another thing you can do using the draw controller is we have a quick look at storage draw keys. So there's two keys, you've got the draw key and the quantity key. They kind of tell you what they do. So locks and unlocks drawers. Okay, so let's make up one of those. Um, we need one of these upgrade templates. I'll show you that actually very quickly. This is the recipe for an upgrade template. You're going to need a lot of these. So I'll actually, I'll make up a few right now. So we've got a few to be going on with. Um, but we're going to use that to make up this here. This is the draw key. Okay, so basically, um, if I were to right click this on a drawer, you can see this little lock symbol just here like this. And if I right click again, it unlocks. Now, if I right click here, you see they all, like all of the drawers here get it. All of the ones that this is connected to, which again is within that 12 block radius. We can right click again to unlock them all, but that is a way of locking them all. Okay, so that is the, that is the drawer key. Um, so um, it says hold in offhand to lock newly placed drawers as well. So that's another thing you can do. So if I hold it here, place a drawer down, it's automatically locked. So if you're placing a load and wanted them locked like that, then it's just you know, another way that you could use it if you wanted to. If I pick up a locked drawer here, you'll see it just goes into here. And if I place it back down, it is not locked anymore. So it's not sort of registered as being locked or unlocked when you do it. So if you move them and you want them to be locked again, then uh, you will need to do that. So a locked drawer. Uh, if we place this right here, this is a locked drawer. Okay, so then we put in all of our redstone like this. If I shift and take it all out, the redstone stays there. So what it does is it locks that the item is still going to be there. Now, if I were to try and left click on this right now, there's not an actually a redstone item in there. It's just a label to say that that's what this drawer has been allocated for. So if I were to now unlock this, you see it goes straight away. Similarly, if we put in our redstone and we take it out with an unlocked drawer, then it doesn't stay locked in. But you, wait a second, didn't want to do that. <laughs> but you may want to have it locked, um, your drawers locked, so that you know where your items are going to be. So you never take out, you know, everything and go, oh, well, now that's not redstone anymore. So that's the sort of purpose of, of locking these drawers. Um, so yeah, that's how you use that, basically. Now, the other thing you can do with the draw key is use it for a quantity key, which I actually find to be really useful. I like to make one of these up. So you see there, draw key and a book and quill will give you your quantity key. Now, it does lose the draw key. So if you want to lock them, you might want to lock them first or make two keys or something like that. Now, this right here, I, I say I always get into using this because it's just a really useful tool to have. But basically, if we go ahead and right click right now, you'll see we get this little numbers because I right click the draw, did all of them. 
So it tells me exactly how many stone I have in here, how many stake I have in here, and so on and so forth. So quite useful um, to, to know that, you know, you know how much of your items you've got then at any given time. So that is the quantity key. Um, Works the same as the draw key, you know, with right clicking the draw controller, um, but that's what it does. It shows you the quantities in them. Okay, so next up, I want to talk a little bit about upgrades. And uh, in fact, we can use our quantity key for this because you'll see right here, um, if I was to shift and right click, then you see right here we have an iron storage upgrade. And if I right click here with the quantity key, you can see we've got just over 8,000 uh, redwood logs in there. If I do it on all of them, you'll see there's different amounts in, in different chests. So we can, we can do it on all of them, there we go. Now, if we look at this one here, for example, there are no upgrades in this. So a normal oak drawer can hold 2,048 of any given item that you put into it. Okay, very good. Now you see up here, we've got 20,300 of this. And in fact, if we take some out here, I think we can get more in there because this right here has a diamond uh, storage upgrade. So you see it increases by 16 times the base value. So 16 times 2,048 is how many items you can have in here. That is obviously a ton of items, um, but very useful to have that in. Now, there are a whole ton of upgrade areas here. Now, one thing I'll mention actually is, so right here we've got the diamond upgrade, but let's do it with this one down here. We've got the iron upgrade. If we take this out, or if we, sorry, if we try to take this out, you'll see I can't. Okay, because there's 8,000 in there. If I tried to take it out, I guess it would be, there'd be too many items in there. So I guess their only other option would be to allow you to take it out and have your items going everywhere. But I'm kind of glad they did it the way they did. <laughs> so once it's in there, you'd have to remove uh, enough of these logs that it was not needing the iron upgrade to get it back out if you wanted to do that for some reason. Um, so the actual upgrades themselves, uh, this is how you make uh, a diamond one. If you wanted an iron one, then obviously you sort the diamonds iron, gold, the same, and so on. Now you can see here there are different ones so this is the base one which actually uses obsidian which i think you know it only gives you two times base value probably not worth it so i generally start with iron as you see i've done that would give you four times gold is eight diamond there 16 times emerald 32 times um, and then you can also have these storage downgrades and, and and other things here which we're going to talk about these in a second but these right here all the way up to emerald are how you make the upgrades to store more items per each drawer. So what we'll do, I'll actually go ahead and make one of these. So let's go into mining and uh, we'll just do uh, a diamond one for now. So we'll go to our crafting grid here, make our diamond upgrade. So again, that upgrade template, this is why these are quite useful. You wanna make a few of them because they're used in all the upgrades that you have. So there's a couple ways to add them to a drawer. Uh, so we can go ahead and just right click and that'll be done. A shift right click, there it is. We can take it back out if we wanted. Of course, we could also shift right click uh, on this drawer with an empty hand to open it and then put it in there if we wanted. So a couple of different ways to add them. You won't see any visual difference on the outside as to how many are in there. The only difference is if you were to shift right click, you can see it. Or of course, if you can use your quantity key and you see you've got 20,000 in there, then you must be running at least a diamond upgrade. So you know from that as well that it's in there. Okay, next up, we're going to talk about a different type of drawer. It's actually my favorite type of drawer. That is the compacting drawer. So uh, this thing here is very useful. Um, oh, we need to grab some drawers out of our inventory, so kind of put them away. So compacting drawer, boom, there we go. Let's make up a few of these. So these here are a different color, they're gray. And you saw the recipe there is a little bit different as well, instead of being the wood. Let me put one here two three four and five okay very good now what they do if we take an item like glowstone dust for example if we put that in there you see two of the three slots have been filled so we've got the dust goes in and we can automatically take out either a glowstone block or the dust now if we grab an item like gold for example and put that in here then we get all three so you've got gold blocks you've got the gold ingots of course and the uh gold bars so really useful little uh tool to have where's my never chest the quartz is a really good one to have as well and get your blocks of quartz and things out of there so again works just like the other drawers but it compacts automatically for you so it saves you like having to craft things and change things around and you can just withdraw whatever you need now, if we use the quantity key on these um th there we go uh, you'll see here what it does is it tells you exactly how many you have so for example in here you could take out four gold blocks or 40 gold ingots or 360 golden nuggets uh so it tells you all the quantities of them, which is very useful as well. It compacts it down. I mean, they're just a really useful drawer. <laughs> so pretty cool to have them. Um, definitely probably something you want to have there as part of your storage array. Okay, so we're just going to talk now about a few of the upgrades here that you can make. Now, I'm not actually going to make them today, but uh, they're kind of self-explanatory. So for example, uh, avoid upgrade it says there destroys excess items. So what that means is, for example, over here, uh, we've got 2048 of these in there. If we try and get any more items going in there, 
it will just destroy them. So if you think that, you know what, if I've got 2,000 saplings, that's enough. Any extra we can just destroy. Then you can use a void upgrade. Again, you just shift click and put it in or just right click on the chest and it will go in there. So that is the uh, void upgrade right there. Uh, things like these uh, extra ones like creative storage upgrade, for example, and creative vending upgrade. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about those because um, they're only obviously useful if you're playing in creative mode. You cannot get them in survival mode. So basically, um, no, we're not going to worry too much about those. Um, Similarly, the conversion upgrade, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I personally have never found a use for this, and I have played a lot of mod packs that have this. You can see there it also converts compatible items. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't find a use for it. But this is how you make it. If you if you do want to use that for something, um, go ahead. <laughs> um, now, the redstone ones are kind of interesting. You've got these three redstone upgrades right here. So this one here emits a signal for total storage. So basically... It'll read how many items exactly you have in there and then put out a red put, uh, a redstone signal based on that. Now, in terms of why you may want this, I mean, it just depends. Um, you know, you could use it to so that if it's full, then a redstone signal comes out and maybe powers a lamp above it or something like that to say it's full. Um, again, not something I've ever needed to use, but I'm sure there would be situations where you'd need it. Okay, so the next up, you, you got these minimum and maximum redstone upgrades. Again, I've never had to use them, but they do emit signals. The minimum for the least full slot, maximum for the most full slot. So I'm guessing that's like when you've got these like two by two drawers and stuff, if you, if you had it in there, it would emit signals based on that. Again, not something you're really going to need when you're in general gameplay, but as it's part of the mod, I'm just going to talk about all of it. Next up, we're going to have a look at this. This is the illumination upgrade. I'm actually going to make one of these up. Um, so I think I've got some glowstone over here. Yep, okay, very good. Um, so let's go ahead and make one of these up. Yeah, you actually get eight of them per one, which is pretty decent. Um, so let's go ahead and put that on there. Is that good? Yep, there we go. I shift right click. That's why it didn't work. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, just open to land very quickly, put the cheats on, and I'm just going to um, slash time set night like this. Boom. So, you can see, with the Illumination upgrade, it gives you a slightly better view of this particular item. Now, again, in practice, whether or not you'll need that, I don't know. But, I have to say, it does look kind of cool, aesthetically. So, just, again, mention it because it's in the mod. That's what it does. Um, you, can, you can use that if you want. <laughs> and then again, it just sits in there. So, to answer your question... You know, you can have all these different multiple upgrades in here up to eight. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, is it seven? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. Seven different upgrades per draw. Uh, so that was, of course, the illumination upgrade. Um, the only one we haven't talked about is this, storage downgrade. Reduces base storage to a single stat. Now, that's how you make this right here. Um, basically, what that means, if you put that on a draw, you'd only be allowed 64 of any given item uh, that you put in there. So you only have one stack of storage per draw. Now... Again, not entirely sure why you'd ever really need to use this. I certainly haven't, but we're just covering it all. So that's how you do that <laughs> if you really want to. So one final thing to... S well, uh, <laughs> I swear that was not planned. Hello. Um, you don't really have anything I want. These guys never do. Um, ruining my video, man. Okay, so <laughs> one final thing to say about storage drawers is uh, you can, if you're using it as part of a mod pack that has mods, where you can, <laughs> this guy is trying to be famous, uh, where you just want to pipe items in, you can do that. So you can pipe them in either like to the drawer themselves or into drawer controllers, and that should work out. So for example, you could have a quarry being piped into your drawer controller there, and then it will just, as long as you've sort of set the place, it should like have all the items going into where they should be going uh, and, and doing that automatically for you. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, things like that or where the void upgrade might become more useful because if you've got tons of cobble being piped in, you don't want to keep like adding sections for cobble or getting it clogged up, then maybe the void, uh, you know, sort of add on to the drawer, uh, the void upgrade would be kind of useful. Um, so uh, I think that is about everything for storage drawers. I have not gone through every single little detail on it because i'm trying to keep it to like the actual useful information you guys will need if you're using this as part of your mod uh pack or or even if it's just that using that mod on its own if you do have any questions though please do leave them down in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to you as i said if you're watching this soon after it's come out then i am streaming right now my information will be down in the description and i would love to see you guys there uh in terms of what i stream it's going to be all different things mine colonies tortuga just general minecraft stuff so it'll all be pretty much minecraft stuff with maybe few games different every now and again um anyway guys uh, if you're enjoying this video or if you enjoyed this uh, series so far please do consider liking and subscribing it really is greatly appreciated but for today that is about it so as always guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time